welcome back to my channel. It's Liliana. Before we get started on anything, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I post any new videos. So on to the part two take of my fall looks. I am doing a dark plum wine, you know, shade. I don't really know how to describe my looks usually, but... I also did a few other fall looks on Instagram, and if you want to see me do those looks, comment down below, and until then, let's just get right to the makeup. So, watch me go be my face. Okay guys, so as usual, I did my eyebrows and my base off camera, and I'm just going to set my body with a little bit of glow and my face, and I'm using the Bella Chic Cosmetics um, All Over Glow Spray, and this is an Egyptian Gold, and I'm just going to for a little on my shoulders, all over, rub that in. And this stuff is like really good actually because it goes on a little sticky at first, but when it dries, it's there's no stickiness at all and all you get is a nice sheer glow. So we're bringing back an oldie but a goodie. I am going in to the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay Co And I'm gonna go into the shade He Devil. He Devil. So I'm gonna be doing He Devil as a transition shade first. And I'm going to start on the outer corner of my eye. Bring it into the inner corner. As always, here on this channel, you can get sloppy, you can get messy. It's not a big deal because we just gonna blend and clean it up anyways. And I'm still kind of sick from the previous video, so. And when we get to the the end, we're gonna kind of wing it up to the tail of the bone. So, like this. I forgot how nice this palette is. So smooth. Then I'm gonna go in with this brush that I got from Walgreens. This is a MUA brush from the Makeup Academy, and it's an all-over eyeshadow brush, but I don't really use it, like, I really don't dip it in any, anything because I like to use it as a blending brush. So I'm just gonna go through and blend out and blur the edges. For the next step, I'm going into a very plum purpley shade from the Zulu palette, and I'm gonna be using the purple shade at the bottom right here. And we're going to follow up what we did. And then just put it in nice and smoothly. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the brush. So I'm holding it at the very end. What I did, yeah, it looks real sloppy right now. But girl, we're going to fix it. I don't know, does anybody else, like, when you're doing an eyeshadow look or you're doing any type of makeup, does anyone else keep closing the fucking palette even though you know you need to go back into it? I do this all the time. And I'm like, why do I keep closing it? I need to... For the next step, we are going into a different Juvia's Place palette, and I'm going to be going into the Masquerade palette, and I'm going to be using the darker purple shade called Zobo. So you can see already what we're going for here. I'm trying to do like a, I don't know, I guess I'm trying to do like a burgundy, purpley, dark, plum shade look, if that makes any sense. I'm not very good with like, describing what the fuck we're trying to go for here. So I'm only putting Zobo like this, and then I'm going to take the blending brush and blend it in to where I want it to lean out. So then I'm going to take the same blending brush and I'm going to blend it into the wing and blend it all over. And I'm using circular and back and forth motions, that way we get a nice blend going on here. A smaller detail brush and I'm going to be going back in to the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette and I'm going to be using the shade Ashes and we're going to darken up the crease with this color. 
So I'm going to do it as if like I would be cutting the crease like usual. Okay, so I'm going to be going back in with the blending brush, and see how it's kind of harsh? It's a really harsh line. I don't really like that. Like, that's not my thing. Let's drop this. That's not my thing. So I like to make sure that it's really blurred out between. But you still want the darkness there, because that's what's going to give it, like, that shape. You know, like, you've got deep-ass creases, and you don't have weird, weird eyelids like me. I gotta fake everything, girl. I'm surprised my boyfriend hasn't left me. He seems so much weird shit just fall right off of me. So now that we have a nice blend, I'm gonna go in with a concealer, a smaller concealer brush, and the Physician's Formula Physician Strength Concealer. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna cut the crease, and this time we're not doing a halfway cut, we're gonna do the full thing. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna start by drawing like a half moon like oh she's trying to go all over the place okay so like that yeah it looks real sloppy huh and then you're just gonna drag it across the lid and then kind of just figure out your shape and what goes best with your eye i feel like i have a little bit of hooded lid so if i don't cut it above that it's just gonna get everywhere to the end I draw like I'm doing a wig a wig a winged eyeliner and so I just go up and then I just thicken it up and connect it so my camera shut off while I was doing the shade on top of the concealer and I'm using the pastel goth palette and I'm going to be using the shade, I think it's called Skull, it's right here, it's broken. And I'm just going to whiten up the lids with this. Then we're going to go back into the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place and I'm going to be using the shade Caliber right here and we're going to be doing a circular shape with a flat brush so I'm going to start mid center of the eye and just create fuck a circular shape girl we're just going to follow the lash line and not take it all the way up to the crease that way the white is still like right there and then we're gonna blend into it too, so. I'm gonna be going back into the Masquerade palette and I'm gonna be using Makeda, which is this dark purple shimmery shade right here. And we're gonna focus this a little lower. So about right here. And like I told you before, I always like to put, when I want to warm up a cooler tone shade like purple, for instance, I always put a warm shade on bottom and then put the cooler shade on top. And what it does is it gives it just the, the right touch of warm. And I like what it's doing here because it's making it look more of like, you know, a deep line, girl. And so for the liner, which I will be doing on camera today, I'm going to be going in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, 
and I'm going into the shade Playdate, and I'm going to be taking a lip pencil brush. So I'm going to be opening up the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, and then I'm going to put a little bit of the product onto the lipstick brush. And clearly you kind of want to do any type of, like if you don't have colored eyeliner and you're using a liquid lipstick, make sure that it's matte. And then when I get to the edge, I'm just going to follow up with the cut crease. So I'm just going to deepen up the pigment a little bit by going back and forth and just filling it out and making sure that it's, you know, on there pretty good and thick. Okay, so on to the face. I'm going to be using the Stilla Stay All Day Foundation right here. And this is in the shade 116A. Let's hope that if this is too dark for me, we'll figure this out. I don't like this pump thing though, like, really? And then nothing's coming out. Okay. Are you gonna tell me how much foundation I put on? Okay, so now going back into the Physician's Formula Physician Strength Concealer. So I'm just putting it all over the beauty blender and then I'm going to just, without dipping back into my hand, that way it's like not too much because I already feel like I have a shit ton of makeup on now. I'm going to be making my face using the Mephron powder that I always use. This is like my favorite one. Because it goes on real white, but it's like super translucent, so I can see that it's baking. I don't know, I have to see it to believe it. Oh, girl, it's getting everywhere. And then we're gonna bake, you know, over here. And over here. Then, what I like to do now that when I bake, I like to add my blush on. That way, it looks strong at first, but then when I wipe and blend everything, it's gonna look like super smooth. So I'm going into these two shades right here, back and forth. And this is my old Beauty Treats palette, because I haven't like got on to buying any brushes yet. One, two. Just tap it right here. Okay. So going into my NARS Laguna bronzer, we're going to warm up the face like I always do. I'm just going to contour with this and blend it into the blush and then to the hairline. And then right here, that way you can't see like a concealer mark. And then the temples of my forehead. So I'm going to be taking a big fluffy brush from H Cosmetics and I'm just going to wipe off the powder and blend the bronzer. Work on our under eyes, we're going to be using the Zulu palette and we're going to go back into the purple shade and we're just going to bring the purple back. Here, I'm going to tap the excess so it doesn't fall onto our foundation. Light her back up. and hide all my flaws. 
going back in with the matte lipstick and the eyeliner brush. I'm going to line my waterline with this, so I have to get into the mirror to do this correctly. But all I'm doing is just watering the watery. I'm lining the waterline. Okay, so I just popped on some mascara, and next we're going to go on to the lips. I'm going to be using the I Love Soraki and ColourPop collaboration. That's not it. And this is the Mamacita lip pencil, I believe. Yes. So I'm going to line my lips real quick. Real quick. <laughs> the eyes. So I'm going to be going in with the matte liquid lip to brighten this up. Yes, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be dark on the outer sides and the bottom. And this nude is just going to really... If you blend this in well, it'll look real nice, trust me. I did this yesterday, it looks so pretty. I'm gonna go in with the Come On Sis lipstick from Makeup Shayla and Color Pot and just put her in the center. And blend her in. So once I have that, we're gonna jump in to the highlighter and I'm gonna be going in with the Desi and Katie collaboration, which I'm excited for, part two, by the way. And I'm gonna be using Mirame. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup tutorial for my purple fall look. I really hope that you enjoyed this look. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell as always. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.